Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, the place where we make fun of the idiots we see out here on the road. Now we've got this young lady, she's just leaving a package on the porch, and she left her van without the handbrake on, and now the van's delivered itself into the porch as well. Dear, oh dear, she's trying to stop the van from moving, no, that's what the handbrake does, she's going to put the handbrake on, she should have done that in the first place. Okay, she's so got this clip here from Jack, and what happened there, let's have a little steward's inquiry here. Okay, I'm going to slow this right down. I want to see if the indicator is flashing. Yes, the left turn indicator is flashing on the BMW, but he's moving to the left without checking his mirror. The idiot driving this white vehicle here, he's still undertaking. Didn't see the car coming from the right. The pair of them are a few beats short of a rosary, to say the least. Okay, so you've got this clip here from Michael W. And you've got two Audi idiots in this clip. First one's this one on the right, going too slow, hogging the outside lane. And there comes the other more, and the only thing he's hogging is the accelerator with his right foot. You know what he is, didn't you? Audi always undertakes, drives irresponsibly in his case. Got this clip here from Alex on. He's following this other car on the approach to a roundabout. And there's two lanes up ahead. One lane's on the left, one lane's on the right. But not anymore, because the moron in the theatre just made a third lane that brings you bang into oncoming traffic. You know what this Fiat is, didn't you? Yeah, Fiat. F all the intelligence, always thick. And just to hammer that point home, he's just backing out into the roundabout in oncoming traffic, curbing the wheels, and off he goes. Sharp as a sock full of soup. Okay, so you've got this clip here from Mohammed, and he's following this little white car. But he's not following the little white car anymore because the moron in the old 56 plate BMW who just can't sit behind people has to get round and squeeze past. But give him a break, he's an asylum seeker. Seeking asylum from himself because he's a hazard to himself with that room temperature IQ of his. Okay, so you've got this clip here from Angeline B. She's driving along at the speed limit, but this moron in the BMW ain't. I think it's fair to say that his cheese fell off his cracker a long time ago. Okay, so you've got this clip here from Big Harvey. Now keep your eye where the arrow is. You're going to see a car come around the corner with his headlights on. There he comes. The lights are on, but no one's home. Bang! We need a steward's inquiry. Here comes Wonder Boy. Coming round the corner too fast, because he's a few fries short of a kid's happy meal, that's why. There he goes, loses the back end, overcompensates, then he hits the central reservation, brown material hits the inside of his pants, and then he hits the side of Harvey's car. And he's also hit a new low point in undergarment cleanliness. <laughs> okay, so you've got a little clip here from Super Grover. And he's approaching these temporary traffic lights, and so's matey from the opposite direction. And the Nissan Micro, he's gone into the roadworks area with the traffic cones. What's he doing in there? Not concentrating, probably concentrating on reaching across to grab a Werther's original off the top of his dashboard from the open tin he keeps there all the time. And there he goes on his way. <laughs> Got this clip here from uh, Andrew N. He looks like he's filming it on his computer screen because the cursor's up there on the screen. Going down past these parked cars, and the car just pulled out. Very quick reactions there, Andrew, I've got to say. Got this clip from Randy, and it shows this FedEx guy leaving a package on the porch. And it's not the only thing he's left. He's left a van parked up with the handbrake off. Hits him, hits the building he's delivering to. It might be sunny there, but when it was raining brains, he had his umbrella up. Okay, so you've got this clip here from Mr. Thunder going down this little country road. And the red car just pulls out from the side turning and then puts the brakes on. What's an absolute brainless idiot? He's got an IQ of two, that driver, but unfortunately he needs one of those to breathe. Okay, so you've got this little clip here from Seth. Now keep your eye on that full focus with the green arrows pointing to you. He's in the left lane. Why is he in the left lane? Because he wants to go to the right, of course. That there, ladies and gentlemen, is the human equivalent of a wheelbarrow that hasn't got a wheel. Got this clip here from Mo going through his green light. The scooter's gone through their red light. And the Uber idiot's absolutely standard behaviour has gone sailing through his red light. Pair of them both have delusions of adequacy, nothing more. Got this clip here from Matchstick21. Going down towards these set of traffic lights, he probably looks like he's going to go round to the right. And the fed up FedEx driver just almost takes him out. What an absolute idiot. That's the sort of idiot he can't even hide his own Easter egg. And even if he did, he wouldn't be able to find it again. Got this clip here from Ed, just going round this bend to stop at the red traffic light. But the truck ain't stopping, and neither is the moron in the little scooter. The closest them pair have ever come to an intelligent thought was when they was asleep in a dream. Got this clip here from Maxi C going down the motorway, straight motorway, but somehow the moron in the silver car's lost control, spun out, smashed into the armco barrier, bits of the car gone flying all over the place, strange warm brown substance flying all over the interior of the vehicle, 
And that steam, you can see that's not coming from the car. That's coming from the passenger's underpants. And the driver's got to go out because he can't handle the smell. Okay, so here I'm sitting in this bit of traffic here. You see the green arrow is pointing at the red traffic light. That's why everyone stopped. Now also see in front of me, I'm behind this black BMW. Black BMW, black windows, 4D plates. That means one thing. That means that the driver is not going to disappoint us with a display of dumbness and stupidity. Straight up the outside and through the red traffic light. Let's speed it up a bit here. Where did he get to? <laughs> the next set of traffic lights. Somewhere in the world, a village is missing its idiot. Got this clip here from JNF. Now the Fiat's in the left lane going round to the right. That's a big mistake. Why would you do that? That Fiat driver's train of thought is still in the station. It hasn't left the platform yet. Okay, so you've got this clip here from Serge or Serge. I hope we got your name right there, mate. And we're looking at this articulated truck doing a white. He should have gone a bit wider because now he took the traffic light down. Traffic light's gone. Adios amigos. Hasta la vista, baby. Guys, can I ask you a very quick favour? If you like what you've seen so far and I put a smile on your face, can you put a smile on my face just by taking one second and just hitting that little subscribe button and that like button down below? Thanks a lot, guys. And, uh, yeah, a car up a lamppost on a motorway. I hope they didn't have the open tin of Werther's Originals on the dashboard. They'd be all over the place. Anyway, let's have a look at some idiots on some bikes. Okay, so here I'm sitting at these red traffic lights, and this is a very typical scene of what you see happen in London all day, every day. Boy Wonder goes through the red traffic light first. He's the equivalent of a TV remote control without buttons or batteries. And then comes the entitled cyclist going for a personal best. But the trouble is he's gone through that red light, and he's so mentally behind, he thinks he's in front. And then the so-called parents go through the red light as well with the two kids on the back of the bike. They wait nine months for them kids and they can't wait one minute for the light to turn green. Unbelievable. Okay, so you've got this clip here from Musa. Everyone's going through their green light, but another idiot's coming through their red light from the right. Oxygen thief on two wheels there. Does she steal so much oxygen she should carry an house plant round with her? Okay, so here's another typical scene. What you see in London all day, every day. Now, notice the traffic lights are red. People are going across the green man. And here comes the entitled cyclist. The entitled cyclist with a brain that is so empty, what he doesn't know could fill a warehouse. Okay, so you've got this clip here from Seth. He's waiting at the red traffic light for it to turn green. It turns green, but he can't go because there's a mobile organ donor coming from the left. Got this clip here from Big Mac. Now he's waiting at these red traffic lights for him to turn green. That's it, you should be able to go, but you can't go when a brainless idiot rides straight in front of you. The sort of idiot that never buys bottled water because it doesn't come with instructions that tells you how to open the bottle. Got this clip here from Muzzy Fuzzy, going up this dark road, look what's coming towards him, this idiot here, no lights, wrong side of the road, paralysed from the neck up, sort of bloke that never boils an egg because he'd burn the water. Got another little clip here from Musa, just going down this row of traffic, but what's coming towards him on his side of the road, Deliveroo Dumaroo Rider. Now what amazes me, by some miracle of my nature, that moron managed to beat 200,000 other sperm tadpoles. How? Just how? Got this clip here from JP65. Did you see that? Let's have a little steward's inquiry. Here he goes. Look at the sense of entitlement and arrogance. That woman has to jump back. That right there is someone who's never been burdened with an overabundance of schooling. He's got the intelligence to screen wash a fluid for your car. Okay, so I've got this clip here, but the person who sent it never gave me their name. Now, everyone's going through the green light, yeah? Keep your eye to the left here. Look at the moron on the line bike. Nearly takes out the other cyclist coming through his red light, yeah? Now, the little wheel that spins round inside his brain is still spinning, but the hamster, what used to run on it, has left a long time ago. Okay, so here I'm going down past Streatham Common, following this car here. We're doing 20 mile an hour. Now, you've heard of Lance Armstrong, haven't you? Well, there goes his cousin, Cecil Not Mentally Strong. Now, we might be going down past Streatham Common, but let me tell you, he hasn't got much common sense. Watch what he does when he gets to the bottom there, look. He's got the crash helmet on, he's got the flashing light, he's looking very safety conscious. But at this moment in time, he's riding like he's mentally unconscious, straight through that red light, straight through that busy junction. Brains of an earthworm. Okay, so stand on a similar theme, you've got this clip here from At Happiness Days, you'll find on my next. Now, coming from the left through their red light is another earthworm brained individual. An individual that's got as much self preservation as a chicken that runs into KFC to seek shelter. Well, that's it for this one, everybody. Thank you so much for watching to the very end, if you did. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to you guys that sent in video clips, all the regulars, 
all the new guys that sent in video clips appreciate you guys very much couldn't do it without you what we're looking at here i have not got a scooby-doo what it is i haven't got a clue but it's four by four it's cool and i really do like it maybe some of you guys in the comments will be able to tell us what it is i don't know it's got volvo on the filler cap that's all i can tell you anyway have a good weekend stay safe and see you in the next one bye